What's up, Gold Chasers? On today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Magic Spoon uh, Fruity Fruity Cereal. After this. What's going on YouTube? Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tashan B. Berry, aka Cali House of 619, and I have a special guest today, Miss Sophia. And today we're going to be reviewing Magic Spoon Cereal. Now, I wasn't given any free cereal like some of the other people, but I made a purchase and I decided I want to try it. Now, I am um, on a low carb diet and uh, I really like cereal, so if you know anything about cereal, a lot of them have a lot of carbs, usually 30 to around 30 to 40 carbs per serving. But this, it has no sugar, uh, 4 grams of carbs per serving, and 13 grams of protein. So it looks promising. Now I picked fruity because I like fruity pebbles. Now do you like, not fruity pebbles, but fruit loops. What about you? You don't like cereal. So this is even better because if she likes it, then, uh, then you need to go out there and get it. So this is an unboxing and a review because I haven't opened it, I haven't tasted it. And so you're gonna get the first, my first impression of this Magic Spoon Fruity Cereal. You ready? Now do you like pouring the cereal first and then the milk? Or the milk first and then the cereal? Exactly. There's people who do other, you know, different kind of ways of doing things. I like cereal first. All right. I did one for the kids, but it didn't look first. It was a mistake. How's it look? It look? Looks pretty fruity tooty ish. Yeah. Because like unicorn poop. <laughs> unicorn poop. I, yeah. Let's go for it. Unicorn poop. It looks like it doesn't it? Alright, you got enough milk. Make sure that it's uh and you know people like to hear you eat. I don't know if this is gonna be crunchy, but people like to hear the crunches and stuff like that. I don't I don't get it. Let's make sure we get it nice and saturated in milk. Alright. And here we go. For protein cereal, that's actually kind of good. I feel like I'm missing a little bit of flavor. Maybe I need another bite. I feel like it's missing some flavor. It's good. I would eat it. I don't be wrong. But Fruit Loops is a little bit more flavorful. Yeah. You think so? I mean, it's kind of sugar. Lord. That's true, it does have sugar and a lot of sugar. I don't know. Did you know that Fruit Loops are all put in that same flavor? I didn't know that. Yeah. So yeah. that means these are probably the same flavor too then. I'll try each individual one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's kind of like lemon. Kind so, like lemon. what would you, what would you uh, rate the cereal? I don't know, 1 to 10. Yeah. Wow. Protein? No, for taste, for. For the taste, it's for, pretty good for people who like cereal. I don't like cereal, so I didn't really like it. But I actually did kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't need it again. No? I would eat it again. Because I bought four boxes and I'm going to do a review of each of the boxes. But, um,. I would eat it again. It's it's fairly. I mean, it's good. I give it a seven out of ten because um, it doesn't taste bad, and and I know I get to satisfy that little cereal craving without all the carbs, which is good. So I can stick on my my low carb thing. So yeah, 
Well, you know, with that being said, you know, like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.